Hi, my name is Dara Duman. I'm going to show you how to use request a code WordPress plugin. So what does it do for you? It allows you to create, display and send receive request emails to your clients and to yourself. So let's start with activating the plugin. After the activation, it goes to the settings. So let's use the setup assistant to create the uh, default pages. Two pages are created. One is the contact list. The other one is the request a code submit form. Let's check out the, uh, the demo data that we created and edit one of them. As you can see, is everything is in one place. You can use the additional details for internal notes or just to create a new one by just clicking on the add new button. Let's update. Now, let's see the front page, how it looks like. Everything is in one place on the front page. You can send this to your client using the notification settings, customizing the email, so that they know that you received their uh, code request. Or just uh, add new code if you want to create uh, a code manually. You can edit and add your services here using the ta services taxonomy. I'm going to add a new one here. So let's go back to the pages and let's see how contact this page looks like. This pretty much shows you uh, a nice uh, listings of all your requests in a table format. The list is Ajax, so it doesn't load the page. Let's check out the submit form. As you can see, the top top field is your services. And if you go down and click on the contact preference and select the uh, telephone, and you can see the callback times drop down. Let's see. And, and let's modify the request a code form page, just like adding a nice text the top you can pretty much display your business hours terms and conditions and stuff like that on this page let's see the updated form okay let's check out the uh, the settings this is the place that you can customize the plugin pages. You can customize the entities and taxonomies. Taxonomy is your services and the submit request form. And there is also miscellaneous and tools tabs. These are for administrators to minimize the conflicts with the third party products. And this is the place notifications page is the place that you're going to be using primarily customize the message you can put in activate and de deactivate the notice uh, notification email or just use your own email and name thanks for watching